Hi. In this video, uh, we will be using model, creating model, passing model from uh, controller to view, and posting data uh, using uh, a view. We will creating a model object, and then we will sending that to the controller, right? So uh, let's look at this uh, product controller. In this product controller, what we did is we created a list of products and then we were sending using a view bag we have not used any kind of model over here so we will create a model models are actually classes so let's create a product class and let's uh, to be very brief we can have let's say two properties one is product name which is and second can be a product price that can be double and float as well depending on the the, the type of uh, currency let's for example you are selling products in uh, 34.35 dollars 34.50 dollars and so on uh, so for this you can change your um, type over here so in the product we have a product name and we have a product price all right so we we are going to use this object or this model uh, through the controllers and controllers will create an object of this model and we will be sending that to the view so let's add inside a product controller let's add an action Action is a result. Let's say for example, I call it display. So display will actually uh, send an object of product to the view, and view will be using that object and will be displaying that information from that object. So let's create an uh, a product object. So product class is not directly accessible over here because I need to add a namespace for uh, for this models so now I can access product so let's say P or maybe product is equal to new product so I can use this style I can press press control spacebar to add name which for example then laptop and price let's see so uh, to the view i can send uh, this uh, model so let's go back and see the view so view can have uh, many overloaded methods so one overloaded method is that i can send a model uh, to that view all right so send product so this we have not created any 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 view for display so let's add a view and i'm not specifying uh, any template over here so just uh, keeping it as empty so i will specify a model so what type of mo model i am going to use on this uh, on this view so keep in mind that one view can use only one model at a time one model can one view cannot use multiple models so there must be only one model so we will discuss more about it later on and how to tackle the situation where we have to use multiple models like extracting data from multiple models and we have to display that data on a single view so we will discuss that later on so let's display the information that is retrieved from that model so i will be using helper class HTML helper class and uh, it has several methods and i will be using display for so display for where and i'm using lambda expression and it will be using that model specified at the top of this view and i can uh, extract the property which is uh, uh, declared or specified in the model so let's say display for this and i can let's say add a break and I'm not doing any any HTML formatting right now because we are not discussing that in this topic. 
so m dot price and uh, maybe we can use uh, another html function that is uh, that is uh, let's say for example display name so display name is actually not getting this display name so let's let's leave it like this for now so name in the, the price all right so that's all so let's run this so in the route what will happen over here is it's going to call this display action and inside this display action we are actually creating uh, an object of this uh, product and we are sending that object to the view and view is actually uh, utilizing that object and specified that this view will be, will be using that product object and I'm actually using HTML helper function to to display the information from that object so let's see what we get so we have a name the laptop and we have a price which we are actually sending from this uh, um, uh, this specific action so this is about sending objects from an action to the view and view can extract the information from the object now you have seen that we have not used any view data we have not used any view bag like we used over here all right so similarly how do we send data back uh, from the view to the controller public action result so let's uh, create an uh, an action that displays a form so we fill in the fields and then we send that data to this uh, add so add view and uh, in this add view we are going to specify that I'm using model which is WP uh, uh, sorry uh, web dot models dot product and I'm generating the fields depending upon the model. So actually uh, I need to create a form. So to create a form I can use uh, uh, HTML helper function to begin that form. So HTML dot begin form. So that begin form actually has several overloaded methods in which we can specify that on which controller and which action do I want to send what would be the the method uh, either it's HTTP get HTTP post so I can actually uh, specify even uh, uh, some route values some uh, uh, dictionary some uh, uh, HTML attributes as well so uh, it has uh, several overloaded methods so I will be using uh, this and in this case if it will send the data of this form to the same uh, controller and the same action name which is uh, product and add action product is a controller and add is an action so uh, now I will create different fields so let's use uh, uh, let's create a div And I will use HTML help function to create an ad editor for for that model and specifically for name. And similarly, I can just copy this. I will create an editor for price, which means uh, the field. So I'm using editor for. Editor for is actually. Um, uh, a function which uh, which will generate a corresponding uh, HTML field which actually suits that specific field type let's suppose example price is uh, uh, integer and I'm ex expecting uh, a numbered input type so I don't need to uh, create input field of type uh, uh, number 
uh, I can actually use editor for and editor for will automatically generate the, f the, the, the corresponding field or very much suitable field for that, uh, that specific, uh, uh, that specific uh, field that is in, inside that, um, uh, that model. And definitely I need to have a submit button. So, let's uh, use that class btn btn success and all right and we don't have labels right now so let's keep it like this so what happens over here is that this uh, product controller add action returns a view which returns add.cshtml file and add.cshtml file we have specified that i am using that model and i am using html helper function and editor for will generate uh, an appropriate field for the for the name uh, attribute and an appropriate field for the price attribute depending upon its data type specified in the model so just run this Alright, so we have two fields. One is let's for example Dell, and uh, let's specify some price. You can see it's an integer, and uh, because of integer, it uh, spec it actually generated an appropriate field uh, for this. For the text input, it just generated a text box. So I, if I press submit, it's actually sending or posting that data uh, uh, to the to the to the same action and the same controller so you see that it's nothing happened how do we capture this uh, this object that is sent from this form so it's actually creating an object of product and uh, we'll be posting that uh, that object so by default uh, an action is http get so to post the data we need to use an uh, a similar maybe maybe a similar action uh, that is http post that will be receiving the object so let's uh, add http post and in this i am specifying that i am using a product or i am receiving a product product object so let's uh, put a breakpoint and see if we get this so when first time i run this so it will be calling an action which is by default http get action which is this one and in this case it's just returning a view which is a form so this is a form let's fill out this form and submit so when i submit it actually send that object to http post corresponding action of http post right so i am getting an, a product over here so let's see uh, am i getting this right so i actually filled dell and 3000 and i am getting this object over here right so i can um, uh, let's say for example i can display that object using that display uh, that uh, display view already that we have created so let's redirect from here to the display so i'm going to modify this view and i'm saying that i am like in display we were just sending an object to the same uh, view in this case i'm sending i'm actually calling a view which is display and to that view i'm sending this product object so display uh, so display view is actually so control and so display view is actually using that product and we can send that object to this uh, display and then it will retrieve name and price from that object and will display that information so let's uh, save and i'm going to run this so it will show me a form which is by default http get and it's displaying an, uh, a view and uh, 
that view is actually generating feeds depending upon the model so I'm going to let's say add Dell and some price submit and you see that we are getting here in display and then it's displaying that exactly the same information so that's you that's how you see that the the object the involvement of object in uh, in this whole MVC is that this view we specify in the view that which model will be used in the view in the controller we create an object of a model we send we create an, the object of the model and then we send that model to the view view extract the information that uh, what kind of data that specific model contains or not, or that specific object contains similarly when we are creating uh, uh, or sending data from the view by creating an object of a model so we create an object of a model uh, in a view and then we send that data or uh, that object to the controller so that's how you see the involvement of model is in whole MVC definitely it's not uh, limited to this uh, only uh, there are some more things in this so let's uh, what about if uh, we specify the business business logic so that's why we call it models that later on we decided that this product uh, entity or that specific product feature or the details can contain further information so we just need to add another field let's say for example we tell that uh, string product name and uh, let's say brand name right so get set or maybe we can call it just brand what kind of brand it is let's say for example we have a uh, in this case we have uh, we will have uh, uh, a laptop or we have we will have a smartphone we will have uh, uh, microphone we will have uh, mouse but of which brand either it's HP it's Dell it's um, Lenovo and so on so to do the modification we need to add a feature to the product which is one more extra field and definitely we are going to modify our uh, field over here so let's add a brand so we have a brand and uh, again when we when we are displaying we need to display a brand over here as well so let's copy this so brand and uh, in the product controller we actually don't need to do this let let's let's change this so we are going to add a brand which is actually Dell and here we don't need to change anything because we are just sending this product to the display right so that's how we modified so let's uh, get back to this one so now in add view we will have an extra feed which is for brand Uh, we have not specified label let's do this so let's uh, we can use HTML helper function for the labels as well like label for and in label for I can directly choose this and I will just copy this and I will use brand I will just paste this and I will use price so label for now we have a laptop which is of type bill and price is something like this and then we submit we are getting a name and we are getting a brand and we are getting a price so that's how we actually modify our models and we update our views accordingly and then we send that object to the view uh, to the action and then action can do whatever um, your business model is that how you want to make a flow and how you want to flow uh, make the uh, uh, flow of your application so it all depends like that 
so that's how actually you do this right okay that's all for today